Welcome back, YouTube family. It's me, Captain Fox, again. Yeah, we out here in the Carolinas trying to keep it real with real talk. It's been exciting lately, for sure, for sure. Hey, we appreciate you guys that subscribed. Really appreciate and much love go out to all those that put a like button on there. Hit that notification. Today we're going to update this winch, electric winch I put on it. We had a, a call, well a comment actually, of um, it said it was too much wire on there. It was all tangled up. Yeah, it was. It came that way. Basically, uh, once we used it one time, testing it out, it got tangled up. But it was still workable. But what I had failed to put on that video was the fact that I could um, adjust it. And that's what I did. So, just want to give you a quick update to remind you with the winch to... Trying to get the things turned around, but it just ain't working the way I want it to. But, uh... We got it reversed. <laughs> As you can see, it's a lot of space left in there. And that's the reason for it is because we cut that cable was so long, which is a good thing for the purpose you might need a long, long cable. We didn't need a long cable that extra long. So now we don't have a tang up, tangle up problem at all. Okay? So we got enough in there that when we get the boat up to about 10 feet, we could um, hook it up to that point and pull it up on the rollers, okay? So you have to adjust it for your situation and your boat trailer, whether it's bunks or rollers. But just, just an update to remind you that you can adjust the cable's length. So we cut them, took it all the way off and cut it, measured and cut it to the desired length we want. And then we hit that button, she rolls, man. She do not tangle up smooth as silk. That's the way it go. Another hint from the your buddy, you know, Captain Fox. All the way. Keeping it in the groove. Real talk. That's right. Don't forget to subscribe now. Share this. Good looking out. All right, it helped, definitely helped save my shoulder. Peace.